going on YouTube uh, today I have a round three two hundred fifty thousand dollar tournament versus my guy Canes um, if you didn't know he actually knocked me out in the first tournament and it's pretty ass because you know we're like 818 members we're good friends we got to play again man and I'm not gonna lie he is a, a good matchup for me to say the least uh, he's gonna be rocking the Seattle bunch today or at least in this gameplay um, this game was literally 10 a.m. on the dot uh, West Coast time uh, it was Sunday uh, this was like the final day, you know, it's not actually the final day as right here. He's going to hit verticals. Uh, I think he sent out four. I got no pressure. Makes me look silly and just gets the easiest touchdown, easiest drive you could imagine. But to this point, I was undefeated. Um, you know, if I had won four more games, I would made the event. In round three, I got to match up with someone in my crew. So that's not always the best move. Uh, oftentimes, people in your crew know how you play the best play the most and you know Keynes is freaking tough man he's really good at this game he obviously made the first event he beat um me Allen, k mac and j wall to make the event and by the way that event was single limb so you know at least this year we have an extra life if something goes bad you know match up with one of your friends uh this is the winner's bracket and you know like i said he's off to a fast start he's just really efficient on offense man and you know i know this year is an offensive game and, you know, if you're even good on defense a little bit, you'll win as long as you're scoring every drive on offense. And, you know, definitely Canes is extremely efficient on offense. So I'm going to be in Seattle, man, and I'm not going to lie. He plays really good defense in this game. Uh, I don't know if it's me being on offense that was the issue or just him on defense. We later figured out that he actually had some nice stuff on defense. This is something that I really wasn't the best at and still am not, you know, the greatest at, you know, this time and moment. It's just like the amount of reps I played versus it. It was pretty limited. I was so used to playing like 245 odd, 335 wide, and, you know, whatever else people would run on defense that, you know, when people started to run dollar, when there, there was the newest, latest patch on, you know, flat assignments, it made dollar so much better. So right here, he's going to run a little bit of coverage. And I'm waiting for my tight end delay to roll out, and it just doesn't. Montez Sweat, and like I guess you could call almost day one, week one item, just gets after me, man. He just really ruined this first drive for me. Uh, I ran the ball to get to a hash. I wasn't even able to do that. It's right here. He's going to get another shed with Montez Sweat. Honestly, I sold him. I might have to put him back on the squad because he literally made three plays back to back to back. Um, just ruining my drive. Not the best drive at all. I was really not even able to tap into my offense and boom, I'm punting it back. I probably should have went for this for being 100% real. Um, it's just like, I don't know, man. I didn't have a play in Seattle for fourth and long. You know, I could always run bunch tight end, but zone drops really kill any type of fourth down and long. Only play I could really think of in that scenario would just be four verticals and you know i just run that play and he had bagged it the play prior so like i said man this is just the toughest start you could imagine it's right here he's gonna run the ball and i'm not in dollar this is 236 will this is the buccaneers playbook um but safe to say i will be hopping hopping in dollar uh the sheds are insane in there the pressure is really good and you know like i said i've just been trying to figure things out to run on defense and I was really uh, stuck on this 245 odd. And then they just, like, the, after the patch, the run became insane. Right here, guys, I can't move my guys. I can't adjust. I should have called the timeout. And, you know, I have the worst user of all time. Just very sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. And just like that, he's up 14 0. But I had got locked onto Sean Taylor. I was trying to move around, and it just wasn't letting me. I should have called the timeout. I should have ran back with the post. There's a lot of things I could have done. But, you know, him automating a bunch tight end just messed everything up. My user got locked. And, you know, just like that 14-0 Canes, um, you know, we get ball a half. You know, it's not over by a long shot. There's been so many games like this where, you know, you, you don't score in your first drive, but you're good. You could come back, get ball a half. You're just going to have to either hold the three or lock up one of these drives. And I know I'm capable of doing that. So right here, guys, I'm going to be running a nice little max protect play. And we're going to throw a dang laser. But because we're in the middle of the field, uh, we get a bad animation, man. Like I said, I've been preaching this for years and years on. Uh, it's going to be a thing forever, honestly. 
no matter what offense it is you want to learn your hashes you want to get on your hash right here guys i'm just gonna run the ball and boom he has base d so like third down and 11 already man this is just not ideal he's playing phenomenal defense i haven't even really called any like offensive plays out of this bunch besides verticals and you know that's about it but right here we're gonna throw it to cordell patterson break a tackle and get the first down um you know that was i guess a struggle play i definitely should have not got the first on that i had a very shitty spin if i had a decent spin at all i would have definitely got the first but since i had a weird spin i had to break a tackle get the first because right here man we're gonna be running a little bit of bunch trail looking for r1 he runs match and nothing really open that got a little scary that was a cloud uh, he did acro for it, but you know, if a cloud, you know, I mean, it could have definitely picked it off. It wasn't the best read, but when I threw it, I felt like it was semi open. It's right here, man. We got to go, man. So far, not good on offense. You know, defense, I feel like it's whatever, man. It's very hard to come by defensive stops, whatever it may be. It's right here, we are going to run a nice little play, hit Jared Cook. Uh, he ran match a lot in this game. And, you know, I started to realize that, like, okay, I got to start running more match beaters. Just, you know, I was I was just honestly preparing for the blitz because, you know, the blitz could come at any time, any given moment. And, you know, when you send five out versus that dollar send five, it is pretty tough to make a read, especially if you're in Seattle because there's no, like, double post. You know, there is flood, but, you know, flood, it's not really a quick developing play besides a flat. You have to actually read the defense in flood, in my opinion. You know, okay, the flat's taken away. I got to wait for the uh, out route. Is the out route even there? Did they double flat? And, you know, if they play send five hard flats, oftentimes you don't even have enough time to throw the out route. And plus the way these vert hooks play now, they kind of guard the flat for a second. And there's just a lot of baiting. That's why dollar is really good. You have eight really good defensive players on the field, uh, eight secondary members. And, you know, your D-line goes completely crazy. It's right here. Um, you know, just kind of bagged, end up throwing it away. He sent two out of match. Everything matched on. And right here, he actually finally sends five. And boom, we make an easy read to Cordero. Cordero. And we get to the one, and that's huge, man, because we want to score fast, but not too fast. But the main thing is we want to score. We want to have points on the board. Um, getting to the one in this year's game, you know, it's kind of like tricky, man. It's 50-50. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And right there, we were so close to getting in. The thing I, is, my issue is I don't have Derrick Henry. I'm such an idiot. It's right here. Mike Kane blows it up. Jack Tatum comes in for the second uh, tackle. But like I was saying, I don't have Derrick Henry for that goal line to goal line back. It makes it tough, man. It makes it definitely tough. Uh, and I don't know why I didn't go no huddle. You know, that look looked all right. You know, he did blow it up in the backfield, but... I don't know. I felt like I probably should have went no huddle, stayed in goal line. It's right here. We are going to run this stretch to the right, and he's going to run commit. He's going to run commit all these plays. It's right here. I probably still should have gotten in. I have Marquise or Mike Pouncey, the new legend guard, and he wasn't able to get there. But, you know, it's Sean T it's, my, it's Cam Chancellor. It's a mutt master. It is what it is. But, like, you see right there, he was right in front of him. He has to make that tackle. We end up going into this uh, three tight end set, running inside zone. This usually is good success rate, and he is once more going to run commit. And everything is just bottled up. Uh, I motioned out thinking it would help me, but in reality, it probably hurt me a lot. It's right here. We are going to run one last time, and that's, that's just disappointing on my end. I got to be way better than that four straight runs you know it is what it is i'm not going to be too mad about it because it's the goal line not much you could do i actually have a nice two-point play but yeah you know what Keynes is in my crew he knows about it and you know i was afraid to run it so it is what it is you know we are down 14-0 honestly it should be 14-7 or even 14-3 but i felt like kicking three right there was not the move at all uh I mean, like I said, I do get ball at half. It could have been all right if I kicked three. It would have just gave me some confidence having some points on the board. But right here, it's going to get a little tricky because he's going to start clocking. It's smart because, you know, he's in that territory where I, he could easily get a safety. Is right here. He's going to run stretch, get a first down. So after running and getting another first down, he actually decides to pass. And I have a, I, I want to say that was a five. Either way, he doesn't get any yards. I was ready for the pass. I played 20s, fives, and fives actually played 10s. I don't know why I did 10s. Should have been 5s. But, you know, uh, 
I'm not it's not looking good. I'm gonna have to generate a stop right here Because like I said we do if we get a stop right here, we're fine. Even if we hold the three uh, It might be bad, but really is it's the clock right now. Um, I don't care if he gets any points It's really just the time I need to get the ball back and make something happen right here guys You see the play art uh, if I've showed up I have two quarters on the right side He actually decides to run bunch tight end we go and use a rush and he's gonna throw this Bruh at this point I knew it was probably over he just throws it right at our quarter um, That was definitely interception at least a deflection to get us back in the ball game uh, Honestly, if I pick that off, I'm not even kidding. It's gonna be a whole different game, man um, Like you could say sure he has a 14 point lead, but my last drive I got to the one yard line I get ball at half if I pick that off. It's a completely different ball game uh, compared to what it is right now and you know, he's gonna take this whole clock whether he gets three or seven, it doesn't matter because he's going to take this whole clock. And, you know, I'm going to be so limited on possessions. Right here, guys, I thought he was going to throw the crosser, but he ends up taking off. And, you know, he doesn't score. But like I said, I had a chance to get the ball back right there. Um, now it guarantees that I won't. He's going to end up, you know, throwing the ball away a few times. We almost get a click on sack with Ted Hendricks right there. And he's going to end up kicking three. So 17-0 deficit. I mean, I definitely, this is on me. You know, slow starts in this year's game result in this. You cannot start slow at all, um, especially even like if your opponent is halfway decent on offense. We all know Keynes is a great offensive player. Um, zero points is just tough. Rough first half. Let's see if we can bounce back. Right here, we're going to hit delay fade. Finally, I mean, literally the first play or second play I had, that's what should have happened. Instead, we got shedded by Montez Sweat. But there's no excuses, man. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. It's in the past. It's right here. I'm going to run a nice little uh, dig return play. And what I started to realize is he kept giving me that running back. That's right here. We had good pocket. Decide to take off. Get a couple yards. But, you know, he's fine with that. Because as long as that clock is ticking, he does not care whatsoever. But you're going to see, man. I have this running back almost every play, I want to say. Uh, the way he was playing his coverage, he was playing very, very passive. Is right here. We are gonna playmaker him up. There's really nothing there, but right here we are gonna try to dial one up and boom. There's another running back route, and it's just tough, man. He's making big hits. He definitely has all the momentum uh, in his favor. He's right here once more, running back open again. You know he has a cloud there, but that's still five yards. Even though you know it's not looking good, you still have to take those five yards and live with it. Cause I mean, for the most part, everything else is occupied and taken up. He's right here. He finally ends up blitzing, and I quick hike, and I had a delay fade. That's pretty tough because uh, because I had that delay fade, he manned him up. It pretty much acted like a spy, and my pocket was pretty bad right there. That I, I definitely just wanted to throw to the running back, but I, there was just no way I was going to be able to with him right there. He's right here. We are going to run a little bit of mesh post, five out, and he sends two. So he's winning the guessing game right now, man. Um, he is definitely just, you know, like some of these route combos I dial up are, you know, for blitzing and, you know, he's playing the perfect guessing game right now, match and, co uh, match and coverage and then sending five cover two look. It's right here. We hop in bunch tight end and I got baited really bad right here. Um, that cloud played really uh, nice with the out route and the corner route. I should have hundred percent zig routed. The move instead of out routes now, I feel like is zig routing. It's something you'll see me doing more often. But that's going to chalk it up, man. We get popped. You know, I feel like the score maybe doesn't indicate how the game was. He definitely dominated on both aspects. But I had a couple chances that just slipped by my hands. You know, the good thing about this tournament was it's double a limb. So next gameplays I'll be showing you guys are, you know, the loser side. I actually had a couple hell games. And, you know, that will be coming up soon. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you watching. Please leave a like. I'm trying to get back on the YouTube grind. Um, let's just keep it up, man. I'll catch you guys in the next video.